Hello everyone, it's Kenneth here. Welcome to my quick simulation review of Raw, May 27th. The WWE Champion John... Wait, wasn't his neck broken? Ugh. Oh. John Cena talked in the ring about the ambulance match, but he now changed it into a three stages of hell match. The first will be a lumberjack match, the second will be a tables match, and the third will be the ambulance match. After that, the Ryback came out and interrupted Cena, of course he did. And then he said he will take him through hell. When Ryback was done, Paul Heyman came out and said that Curtis Axel wanted to fight John Cena later tonight, and John Cena accepted. NEXT MOMENT! Biggie Langston went one-on-one -on -one with Alberto Del Rio. In the middle of the match, AJ took off the turnbuckle pad, Del Rio took advantage, and him into the exposed turnbuckle, rolled him up and won the match. After the match, Biggie blamed AJ for losing the match. NEXT MOMENT! The United States Champion Dean Ambrose went one-on-one -on -one with Kofi Kingston for the United States Championship. At the end of the match, Ambrose hit his finisher, wishes the missus signature, and won the match. NEXT MOMENT! The Tag Team Champions The Shield, yeah, it's a glitch with the Wests, went 2-on-2 two two against Team Hell No for the Tag Team titles. At the end of the match, Daniel Bryan distracted Kane so he got unfocused, then Seth Rollins hit some kind of knee attack and won the match, so they retained their titles. NEXT MOMENT! Then on the WWE app, you were gonna vote if the miss was gonna be the special referee, special ring announcer, or commentary at ringside. The audience chose special referee. It was the Intercontinental Champion Wade Barrett against Fandango. In the middle of the match, Wade Barrett pushed the miss, and then he hit the skull crushing finale, and Fandango won the match. After the match, the miss kicked Fandango in the head. Next moment. Then John Cena talked backstage with the Heartbreak Kid, Mr. WrestleMania, the Showstopper, with a hobo beard. Next moment. Brothers Clay and Tensai and the Great Kali went 3 on 3 against Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre, the 3 man rock band. Brothers hit this burger splash and they won the match, yay. Next moment. Writer J. Chris Jericho hosted the highlight reel with Paul Heyman as a guest. Jericho kept asking where CM Punk is and he challenged him to a match at Payback. After Jericho said he was the best in the world, Paul Heyman accepted on behalf of CM Punk. Woohoo! Next moment. The Bella Twins went 2-on-2 two two against the Divas champion Caitlyn and Natalia. It's Natalia's birthday. In the middle of the match, Caitlyn spears Natalia with an accident and the Bella Twins picked up the win. Next moment. Brett the Hitman Hart talked to Curtis Axel backstage and told him he looked like his father. Curtis Axel was rude to Bret Hart and got a stone in the head and died. That was a joke. Next moment. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus teamed up with the Viper Randy Orton to take on Rhodes Scholars. What, are they still a tag team? Sheamus hit the bro kick and won the match for his team predictable level over 9000. And ladies and gentlemen, the final moment is here. The WWE Champion John Cena went 1-on-1 -on -one against Curtis Axel. In the middle of the match, Cena heard an ambulance and he thought it was Ryback. John Cena and Ryback started to fight on the stage, so the referee counted out Cena and Curtis Axel won the match. Show over.